who was included? Henderson. Guard, the 6'3 junior, number zero. <laughs> Scoot Henderson. The reason why people should know the name Scooter Henderson. One, you should always expect the show if you come see me play. Number two, I'm the next big thing out of Georgia. Number three, I'm gonna be that guy in the NBA. The kid is like an amazing athlete. If you don't know me now, you're just gonna be hopping on the wave later on. What's going on? It's your boy Overtime Larry. I just touched down in Georgia. I'm about to see the man, Scooter Anderson. Scooter. My boy. Yeah. Levantate, wake up, my boy. Yeah, it's your boy Larry. We out here, we outside. Come on. Yo, you gotta get up. We got the car waiting. I got a breakfast for you upstairs. Got some a bacon egg and nah. I don't even got a bacon egg and cheese. I'm lying. Oh, I'm lying. If that was the case, bro. You see how hype you got though? <laughs> Come on, let's go. We gotta go. Get up. Let's go, school. Scoot Henderson right here for the Kell High School. Class of 2022. Point guard, shooting guard. I can switch. Players from Georgia are known for getting after it and playing hard the whole time. We just compete at a high level, a very high level here. I just feel like everybody knows each other. We all get along, but I don't think there's any friends on the court. People from Atlanta and Kennesaw and Marietta were enemies on the court, but we're really just cool off the court. I feel like I have an A on my back. It's my city. Scooter, he's just different. He'll get you off the dribble, pull up on you. It don't matter. Damn, Scooter, let me live. When I first start working with a Scooter, people say, well, he can't shoot. Now he can score at all levels. He can post, he can go to the rim, he can shoot the mid-range, he can shoot the three. That separates him from everybody else. We just finished practice. Finna go in here and watch film in the film room. Usually I chop it over my dad. Try to go over some stuff, what I can do better at. Hey, what's up? What? What's up? You want some film? Yeah. I would say I was five years old when I first started playing basketball and getting into sports. I actually started playing football before I started playing basketball. Coming from a very athletic family at that, the standards are never low. So that's why I always set my bar high as I can. And my family, I have six siblings all together. Yo, I need to do shout out to my pretty big family. Here's my biggest little sister, Diamond. And we got Onyx right here. Onyx. The perfect sister. And then we got China in the middle. This is Jade. And this is CJ at the bottom. You better not be driving close. on that phone. Here's my little sis, Crystal Moochie. Yes, sir. Number 30. Y'all seen the ball out last night. Man, this is ticket talking Maza for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. And then we got Queen. My mother, beautiful. And we got Pops right here. You already know, big deal. And we got my boy Jarvis, my friend, my guy. I learned a lot from him. Last but not least, my man, PK. My guys at every event, as long as I got them, man, um, really don't need anybody else. Let's see, it's my family right here. Gang, gang, gang. Hey, Zero Nation. The biggest inspirations that I have, my pops and my mom. Player-wise, I feel like it'll be Colin Sexton. The first time I met Colin was, uh, he came to my gym and I was, I was just mind blown. Well, he's just a hooper from Atlanta, so I feel like all of us, we got a little something in common. Just being from here and just having that dog in us. Yo, what's good, Colin? Yeah. Yo. What, well, OT Larry? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Colin. All right, you been in that gym today? 
Yeah. What you been working on? Everything, shooting off the dribble, uh, really just being consistent. I've been watching some of the games when they put them online. You running that boy. <laughs> <laughs> I got to, man. Running that air I got to. <laughs> Why not? Uh, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Why not? Just hit me, bro. Hit me anytime, bro. All right. All right, that's bad. Y'all be safe. All, All right, right, bro. All right, All right, bro. Right, so I'm out here right now at Carroll High School. The school is having a practice with his high school team. And you know he's going to dump that thing. I just feel like I have a better feel around the game than a lot of kids my age. Just based off me playing up with my brother, it taught me a lot of lessons. I'm glad I did it, because now it's like I can bang with anybody, whether they're three years older than me, five years older than me, it really don't matter. It's just that heart that was built playing up with him. The night I dropped 53 points, for that game, I was just beyond locked in. Like, I didn't talk to anybody probably three hours leading up to that game. I wasn't on my phone. My first shot was a pull-up three. It was a heavy three. So at that point, I was like, oh, man, it's bad for whoever's going to be taking me the whole game. The game I played, Mikey Williams, the environment was crazy. I knew it was going to be like that because a lot of people know Mikey Williams, and a lot of people knew that I was like the man in Atlanta at that point. So. I knew the game was going to be packed, so coming into that game, I had the same mindset that I had, dropping 50 points. Sharif Cooper was there, Quavo was there, Rail was there. Just a lot of very known faces around the area. I was just shocked. That was my first game where celebrities come and just show love and watch the game, so that was pretty fun. Just that energy that I was getting from the people there and my family there, it was just crazy. Man. <laughs> If you want to be good, you got to work out every day and just focus on what you're doing every day. It's part of the whole process. That's really what, you know, I've helped him separate from the rest and take care of his body 24-7 on and off the court. That's what makes him special. What you doing, bro? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta kill my son, man. <laughs> Yo, they're going crazy. This your first time seeing this? Yes, I don't like that. <laughs> Yo, what you doing, bro? I've been training with Scooter for a long time now. When Scooter got in his freshman year at Cal, I, I knew he was something special. Set aside from the talent, his work ethic is unbearable. I never seen anybody work so hard. I feel like I'm a way harder worker than most kids my age. It's just the mentality I have. I have high standards for myself. That main goal is to get an NBA. So to get there, you can't take no days off. You can't take no plays off, no reps off. You can't slack, none of that. If my dad will open the gym, I'll meet her seven hours if I have to. One thing I love about him, he's humble off the court, but you see him on the court, y'all know what he do. <laughs> you know, the sky's the limit with that guy. I don't think I had the peak of my game yet. I don't even think I'm close to the peak, honestly. The level I'm training at and how hard I'm working, my game could go way further, and I'm just continue to do what I'm doing right now, and pretty sure that it'll pay off soon. Y'all swear y'all could guard me. I don't think so. Y'all need to watch these videos though right here and subscribe. Then maybe you could guard me.